So thank you very much for joining us here today. Um, you, uh, we've got some really interesting stuff here. Cosplay Wise, why don't you introduce, introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, uh, my name's Justin Webb from Cosplay Incorporated. Mm -hmm. um, we do uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, we do 3D printing. Uh, we build replica vehicles from uh, film sets. And we also do uh, our resident artist, Laura, um, from Ethereal as Illustrations, actually uh, does all sorts of uh, prints and commissions as far as drawings go. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been into cosplay? Um, I've been into cosplay. I didn't know it was called cosplay when I first started, but probably since I was about 40 years old, <laughs> I've been doing it. Um, professionally, though, uh, and business-wise, probably for about five years. Okay, cool. What got you into sort of professional cosplay? Uh, you know, everybody asks that question, and I feel yeah. like, you know, you don't really get into cosplay. It kind of gets into you. Mm. There's this otherworldly, you know, feeling you get when you walk up to a, you, you, you know, you have that little kid that walks up to you in costume, and you're their hero, and they don't, you know, they don't know that you're not that person mm. yet, and they tug on your leg and hug you, <laughs> and so you, you, you get that wonderful feeling of, you know, you've changed their life somehow or you've really meant something to them and they go home saying, you know, I, I met the hero that I grew up with. I, you know, I met Speed Racer or <laughs> Flynn Rider or whoever. And it's, it's those moments right there is like why we do what we do. Yeah, nice, nice. Let's talk a bit about the vehicles because those are just so kind of show stopping. Yeah. Um, how did you get into that? Kind of, uh, what's the? Um, the <laughs> Um, I don't know. The, the vehicles were originally a way for us to get into conventions mm. um, as far as like the exhibit hall and getting a free table to sell our, our wares at and stuff. Mm. Um, we started out with a mystery machine van. Uh, it's actually an original 1980 Volkswagen Vanagon. Wow. Um, it's actually one of the last few years that they made air-cooled engines, so we don't even have a radiator. <laughs> Um, everything's, uh, we just completely rebuilt the engine so we can go about 65 miles an hour downhill with the wind at our backs. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's a full camper van, so we actually have a two burner stove, a sink, a Whoa. mini fridge in there, and it'll actually sleep four people in the van and still fit into a parking spot. So it's, it's very economical as far as traveling goes. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's my child, that one. Um, <laughs> the other one that we have right now is our Jurassic Park Explorer. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the same year, make and model that was used in the original film. Cool. Um, we chose the number five Jeep because the number three was the one attacked by the T-Rex. So we wanted a nice story of, you know, that we recovered it from the island and it's still in near mint condition. <laughs> and, um, so we, we have that and we have, uh, we have a baby T-Rex in the back. Um, we're actually getting a uh, animatronic uh, Triceratops baby uh, next week. Wow. Which is neat, uh, made from a buddy of mine. Mm. And then uh, we have like Velociraptor eggs and stuff too. So we go and cosplay sometimes as, um, <clears throat> as like Dr. Grant and Dr. Sattler, and we'll teach the kids about dinosaurs and they can pet them. Cool. Because like our baby T Rex is actually uh, puppeteered, so mm. you can actually have it move and bite down. And nice. It's a lot of fun. That is really cool. So when you come to a convention, um, how is that you know, sort of scheduled and arranged? Do you come in with a program and say, here's what we're going to do? Um, well, normally what, we, what you have to start doing is, and I mean, like most of the, most of the cons we end up going to is from word of mouth. Mm. So it's, it's convention leaders and con chairs that you meet at other conventions. Uh, but mainly we send out an email to the conventions we would like to attend and say, hi guys, you know, we know that you're looking for new attractions to bring to your exhibit hall. That way it generates more money, more attendees for mm -hmm. you. So for this base price, instead of getting, you know, like, you know, we do, uh, we do the Scooby-Doo, we do the uh, Jurassic Park, and then we do anime. Mm -hmm. So we have three different fandoms, and we're adding more each day. Mm. Instead of paying individual groups of people that have only one vehicle or this, mm. we charge about the amount of one group does, but now we're filling half of your exhibit hall. Yeah. So it, it's something that hasn't really been done before as far mm. as bringing mul multiple fandoms. So that's why we call yeah. ourselves Cosplay Inc. We don't want to mm. just cater to one specific we want to be all-encompassing of gotcha. everything. Um, and then something else extra that we do is we're not just exhibitors. We're, mm. we, we prefer it to be more of an interactive experience, so mm. we take it to the next level. Instead of, we never charge people for photos in our vehicles, mm. um, and we're always there in character to interact with people. Now uh, you get an experience instead of just another car show. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So. Cool, and that's kind of an interesting thing. I mean, one of the complexities about Cosplay, or one of the, the kind of issues with it, is just the fact that you know there's there's the one side of it which is I like anime, I want to cosplay this character, I have twenty dollars, I'm going to mm -hmm. do the best I can. 
and then they come and they, they cosplay and that's great. And then there's the other, you know, the, the other uh, end of the spectrum where you, know, you can really put a lot into it and be, you know, really be that character. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, how do you find that, <coughs> do you prefer one or the other? Do you prefer to be able to be out of character or do you prefer to be in character all the time? Um, it's not really being in or out of character. Mm. Um, it's it's not really you know like the best acting advice I was ever given is don't act. And so mm. <clears throat> we don't portray characters that we don't feel a, a deeper connection towards. Okay. So like Flynn Rider is my arrogant side. You know <laughs> I actually get to sit there and go hi I'm Flynn Rider. You make sure to get my go oh they're all good sides. What am I kidding? You know so it's it, it's a it's a way to kind of expound upon my my natural personality. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it tends to take you know acting to a different level. So it, it ceases to be acting at that point. Mm. So there's not really an in or out of costume thing, um, which is even more fun. So you, you mm. learn about yourself as you're building the, the costumes. Mm. And um, we actually give panels on that sort of thing, like the psychology mm. behind cosplay and even show people like, um, I've built a full Iron Man suit out of foam at one point wow. and it costs less than $100. So we teach people, you know, nice. even on a budget, mm. you can make really cool things if you're just willing to put the time into it. Mm -hmm. So. Very cool, very cool. Well, let's talk about the 3D printing here, because yeah. um, you got some really amazing stuff. Um, what do you got? Well, uh, well uh, we sell different various items um, mm -hmm. from different fandoms. These are actually uh, three different fandoms here. First, we uh, have the ghosts from Destiny. Um, these are uh, created straight from the video game model. Uh, so we just took the 3D file from the model, uh, and sliced it in half, hollowed it out, uh, and put a little oh, nice. Velcro on it. So now we have a, uh, a little tea light that will cool. fit inside. Uh, the light will actually last for about a month if you don't turn it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it stays lit for quite a while. Wow. Um, here's another one that we found a uh, uh, file online for, which mm. is which is really neat. Uh, the Bulbasaur planters, so you can actually <laughs> plant your own your own little plant inside if you have a desk job and whatnot. That's so he's awesome. he's adorable. Uh, the Coupe de Grace though has got to be mm -hmm. uh, our Fallout section because um, I'm a mm -hmm. huge Fallout fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got just about every collectible that's ever come out for the mm -hmm. game. Um, but these are our Pip Boys, mm -hmm. uh, which stand for uh, Personal Information Processor Terminals. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, these are 3D printed from the game model as well. Mm -hmm. um, it has a hinge, so you can easily uh, attach it to your arm and put Very it on. Cool. Um, but the neat part about our Pip Boys are that you can remove uh, the upper mm -hmm. half, and now it will hold your cell phone as the screen. So you don't mm -hmm. just get, you know, a um, just like a, a sticker on the screen. Now you mm. actually have something that's completely interactive with changing screens. Nice. Uh, the app is free to download, of course. Wow. All of our knobs move and turn, so you get the realistic <laughs> part of that. And the best part is we sell them as a kit, so they're cheap. Oh, okay. They're cheaper than everyone else. Mm -hmm. And now you get to paint it whatever color you want. So I mean, cool. And it's it's not hard. We've had a ten year old put it together in like two and a half hours. Okay. So not bad at all. Uh, they're they're very fun. I've actually I've had this one here for three years and wow. I've worn it probably two to three days out of the week every single week. Okay, wow. So I mean, they, they really do last. In mm. fact, uh, later on I even added a uh, I even added a uh, bottle cap opener to the base of it, so I could pop my Nuka Cola bottles <laughs> open. Um, and then, you know, then we make other various things. You know, mm. like we have uh, we have three D printed drink coasters, mm. um, which this file was actually given to us uh, by a friend we met on Thinkiverse, and he was more than happy for us to show it off. Cool. So, yeah. That is very cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about sort of materials and painting and stuff, because yeah. I think one thing I think folks don't understand about three D printing is that. You know, it comes out solid color out of the, the printer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the base color for the, the Pip Boys and stuff are, they, they come in this silver color that you see mm -hmm. on the inside. Um, the way that I painted this one, and it's really not hard, um, we use a high grade PLA plastic. Um, it's a little more brittle than ABS plastic, but you have a lot less warping whenever you make it. Mm -hmm. um, the way that we painted this, however, was uh, just acrylic paints that you find at okay. like Walmart. So yeah. really cheap, you know, two, three dollar bottles of paint. Mm -hmm. um, we did a base coat in gold, mm -hmm. um, a really bright gold color. Um, and then all we did was do a black wash. So essentially uh, what okay. it is, is it's half black acrylic paint, half water, you mix it up. You brush it on real thick, leave it for 30 seconds to a minute, and then you just wipe it off with a paper towel. Mm. So that way you get in these little crevices all the, the dirt and the grime left mm. over. Um, and then you, you do the same thing essentially with the silver bits. You paint on the little silver, mm. do the black wash again, and you can do this. But you can have the base be green or blue or red or whatever color and still mm. do the black wash and get the post-apocalyptic kind of <laughs> kind of worn look. But we chose cool. silver for the base color of the mm. plastic. That way, if the paint ever chips, it still looks like metal underneath. Mm -hmm. so. Very, very cool. How much will something like that run you? 
Um, these are actually on sale uh, on our website for $85 right now, um, which they take about 36 hours to build. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, for for the price for something that's going to last you know three plus years, it's yeah. it's really really good. Yeah, no, that that's very <laughs> impressive. That's really cool. Um, so it, it looks like you sell some stuff that is you know, more or less straight off the printer and some stuff that you paint yourselves? Yes, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. This is more or less straight off the printer. Uh, mm -hmm. The Bulbasaur is definitely straight off the printer. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we color matched the blue to uh, the Bulbasaur in the cartoon, so nice. it's the right shade of blue. Mm -hmm. um, and then these, of course, we, we just uh, paint the interior uh, mm -hmm. hoses and whatnot for the, the drink coasters. Cool. Um, what are some of the other stuff you guys sell? Um, we do all sorts of things. Like I said, uh, our artist Laura, uh, she has all kinds of prints. She does Fallout prints. She does anime mm -hmm. prints, um, and it's all characters that she's hand drawn herself, and they're out of this world. In fact, she even created the cosplaying logo for the group, nice. um, which we're, we're super super proud of. Um, other things that I do are I build full scale Iron Man suits, uh, power armor from uh, Fallout, and things, and mm -hmm. we sell that. Um, amongst wow. other little things, mm -hmm. so we, there, there's not really anything we don't make. Um, I mean, like even on this costume, mm -hmm. all the the leather pouches and belts and things were all handcrafted by me. So wow. we, we do leather working as well. Nice, and you do a lot of panels at cons. It sounds mm -hmm. like too. Yeah, uh, I think we're up to like six or seven panels right now for nice. each con. Yeah, so quite quite a few. That's cool. Um, and uh, let's go a little bit more. So, uh, uh, what exactly do those panels cover? Um, well, we have one called Armor Building 101, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, basically you don't leave that panel until you can believe that you can build an Iron Man suit. Wow. We, we break it down into very simple terms. We make it as simplified as possible because when you look at something like that, like when somebody walks in an Iron Man suit, you're like, man, it took, there's no way I could do that. That's so complicated. Mm -hmm. And it's like, man, the patterns are online. Mm -hmm. It's like putting a puzzle together. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Armor Building 101. Um, to continue that, we have uh, a new panel that we just released called uh, Gadgets with Inspector Gadget. Um, it's actually cosplay gadgets with gadget. Mm. And so now we, we take it a step further. So once you have your armor, if you want your armor to actually light up, we show you the best ways to do that. Okay. If you want smoke to come out of the hands in your armor, we show neat little devices that you can buy and just press a button. And it's there's no wiring involved. Wow. There's no soldering involved. You have to have no background in electricity whatsoever. You mm. just have to find a spot to mount it in your suit, mm -hmm. hit the button, and you've got smoke, cool. um, amongst other things. Mm. Um, but we do those two. We do a Jurassic Park panel. Uh, fact versus um, Ooh, film. Cool. Um, I do a magic show uh, from time to time. Nice. Yeah, from when I was doing magic um, across the globe. Um, cool. And a few others. Okay. Nice. Very awesome. Anything else you want to talk about here? Um, no. That's that's yeah. about covers what what cosplay ink stands for. Cool. Yeah. Cool. What got you into sort of geekdom and fandom? It, it kind of just got into me. Yeah. You know, it's, I, I don't know, I've just been dressing up since I was four. Halloween yeah. was always my favorite. And when I yeah. found out that you could, you know, get paid to do it, it was yeah. even more fun. So yeah. nice. I get to do it full time. So. Cool. That, that's awesome. Cool. Thank you very much for joining oh, us. Appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Take care.